There's a lot to cover on this edition of Your City in Five. Hello, I'm your host, Ricky Saias. A popular West Side library has reopened. We're gonna tell you about that and other stories, so let's get started. The Doris Van Doren Branch Library has officially reopened. It underwent about $960,000 worth of renovations to include a new floor, paint, self-checkout machines, and extended rooms. Why that is really important to our community is that we're extending the life of this facility, which means that we're making sure that we have a good return on our investment and taking care of our infrastructure so that we have exceptional facilities for our community. You know, it looks so welcoming. I think it looks so clean and the colors are great. So when people come in, they just see a welcoming atmosphere where they can come and of course stick around you know, and read, check out books, or just do any of the programs that we have. Funding for renovations came from the 2012 Quality of Life Bond. The Branch Library is named after Doris Van Doren, who led the way to bring library services to West El Paso. Two, one. A ribbon cutting officially reopened the Chihuahuita Community Center in the Chihuahuita neighborhood. Neighbors, along with city representative Chris Canales and Parks and Recreation staff, celebrated the reopening with music, food, and games. The center closed during the COVID pandemic. Yeah, Chihuahuita is a small neighborhood, but it's relatively isolated from some of the, the neighborhoods around it. And so it's really important that they have this center. It's not a big place, but it really is a center of the community where everybody gathers. And so it's so important that we are able to reopen this one for them. The center is located on Charles Street near Santa Fe. It has a small workout room, classroom and kitchen. Elsewhere, the city's strategic planning sessions have been rescheduled. The first one is scheduled for 9 a.m. on Thursday, February 1st at the Center for Civic Empowerment. The center is located on the 17th floor of the Bluefin Building on Texas Avenue. The public is invited to attend. The mayor, city council, and senior leaders will discuss the future of El Paso. For more information, visit the city's Facebook or Instagram page. You're encouraged to fill out an online survey regarding the climate action plan for the region. Feedback is needed from the community to request federal funds that will address climate and sustainability concerns, such as greenhouse emissions, air pollution, and other climate-related vulnerabilities. The first community meeting for that initiative was held at the Chamisal Community Center. Other meetings are being planned, but in the meantime, the public can fill out an online survey by visiting elpasotexas.gov and clicking on the Community and Human Development tab. You can also find the survey on our social media sites. Now that survey only takes about five minutes to fill out. The deadline is February 9th. Plans are underway for a business expo organized by the city's purchasing department. It's set for April at the convention center, but vendors and exhibitors can sign up now to participate. The expo is great for networking and provides visitors with information on how to participate in purchasing programs. Early bird registration runs through February 2nd. Visit the website on your screen to apply. Congratulations to the communications team from the El Paso Streetcar. The team received several awards for the Streetcar's fifth anniversary marketing campaign from the Audiovisual Arts Digital Awards. AVA, as it's known, is an international competition that recognizes organizations in production and planning in digital communication. The team, made up of Asa Aguilar, Martin Padilla, Rebecca Rodriguez, and Lonnie Tapscott, spent several days creating graphics and videos promoting the Streetcar event. Congratulations to them and everyone at the Streetcar. February is not too far away, and while you're getting ready for Valentine's Day, don't forget about your heart. Live Active El Paso and the Hospitals of Providence are hosting the Love Your Heart Walk and Run as part of Heart Month that falls in February. It begins at 8 a.m. Sunday, February 4th at Scenic Drive. Now, heart disease is the leading cause of death in the U.S., but it's largely preventable. The free event includes health and wellness information, as well as free flu shots and health checks. We'll see you at Scenic Drive. That's going to do it for us on this edition of Your City in 5, but I encourage you to come on out here and visit the Doris Van Doren Branch Library in West El Paso. From Mario Ramirez, who's behind the camera, I'm Ricky Saias. Stay safe and please be good to each other. We'll see you next time on Your City in 5.